American farmers have turned to robots to improve their operations. Devices are being used on Kansas farms to increase yields and eliminate the need for chemicals. While it's not necessarily classic Kansas farming, it's still an idea that developers hope will help feed the world. I'm not going to say they're perfect yet. If we can begin to eliminate chemicals or, or cut the use of them and take that money and, and spend on robots or some other way to help control weeds, that sounds good. Clint Brower is the farming founder of Greenfield Robotics and the choreographer of this mechanical dance up and down rows of soybeans. It always starts with something practical and so this is this is the most practical thing I could think of to start. With help from engineers, Brower created these robots. They're part of his larger effort to eliminate chemicals from farming. When their crop comes up, they normally have to go in and spray chemicals. And so they spray them through the whole field. These robots actually go and, and eliminate most of that need um, between the rows. The robots do so by going plant to plant, weeding and mowing crops like in this soybean field and this sunflower field, keeping the weeds from growing in the first place. It's already got a growing customer base from Tanya Martisco, who uses the robots to maintain the maze used in an annual 5K race. It's saved us a ton of uh, time, manpower, which we just were lacking on all, all of that this summer. To farmer Tori Ball, who's gotten pretty used to the roaming antennas, even if they don't always go exactly where he'd like. Last year they had some hiccups. That's why someone is always watching, just steps away inside this rig, making sure every robot's programmed route runs smoothly. I'm still a nervous wreck when I come out and watch these things going down the road. And I would guess by next year, if they improve by the amount they did from last year to this year, and then the next year, I'm guessing they'll be, be doing a very good job.